Hi, I'm Congresswoman Geraldine Roman of the 1st District of Bataan. Hi, ako po si Attorney Tony Roman III, ang nakakabatang kapatid ni Congresswoman Geraldine. Ay, ako, ko. One year lang po yun. Tony Boy is, um, how should I say, number one. Uh, mahilig yan sa action movies. Pero uh, malambot ang puso niya. I remember noong umiyak ka. Iyakin ba ako? Umiyak ka nung namatay yung puppy natin. Tapos Correct. we even had a funeral service for the dog. Naalala mo nung umiiyak ako kasi yung G.I. Joe ko? Oo, na Kasi pake. ang nilalaro ko nung araw, G.I. Joe, kasi talagang macho yun eh. Action figure yun eh. Ko Barbie. Siya, de Ken ka Ken. <laughs> Ken, pero that was my passport to Barbie. Oo. So yan, maawain siya. Uh, compassion siya. Tapos nung lumalaki kami, he was very disciplined. Kasi you had uh, strict uh, study, well, habits na lagi mo sunsundan. Ako, hindi ako mapalaaral eh. Pero lagi ako akong honor student. Ayan! <laughs> <laughs> so, dudugtukan ko na. Ako naman, how should I describe Geraldine? Ano yan eh, um, smart. Puro nung sinabi mo. Oh. Well, compassionate. Talagang mawain sa Talaga mga... Oo, oh, sa marami pa. Nakikita naman sa mga batas mo, di ba? Parang <laughs> pro-poor, di ba? Para sa mga marginalized. At syempre, to state the obvious, okay ba yung pag-sip-sip? Ano yun? Ano, beautiful. Oh, ito ko, Charing. Diba? Lalaking Charito yan. Grabe. <laughs> Gusto mo rin sabihin ko, gwapo ka. Oo, oh, 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 please. <laughs>
baka gal pinapawisan tayo. Pinapawisan. But I, I really feel, uh, I felt the pressure. Kasi hindi lang pala first district of Bataan ang inaasahan ng mga tao na i-represent ko, kundi pati yung whole LGBT community just because I belong to that community. Oo, tsaka yung media spotlight nasa iyo, di ba? The pressure must be oh. intense. Merong pressure talaga. Kaya ikaw, ikaw ang sinungaling. Ito sinungaling yan, mali yan, defective. Oh. So, iinom na naman ako. At iinom ka, sige. Shot ano pa, ba shot. yan? Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> okay, Carrie. Ready for your question? I'm ready. I'm ready. Ay, nako, tapatan portion ko. Pangarap ko kasi ito eh. Okay, ito. Crucial tong question na ito. This will determine the future of our relationship as Teka, siblings. I will, I, will, I will relax. 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 Okay, ready? Will you fight back if someone disrespects me for being a trans woman? Of course. Of course Pag-ito I will fight back. Kayo, tatapong ko na yung makina na yan. <laughs> <laughs> Nakuryente ka. Nakuryente na naman ako. I find it hard to believe, knowing my brother. Pero nasa ilaw yan, di ba? I, th- I think nasa There's ilaw. something wrong with this machine. Knowing my brother, nung bata kami, kahit nung elementary, talagang he would fight back. Oh. Wow, dami naman ito. Sige, bottoms up. Are you ready for your next question? Go, push. Nagdalawang isip ka ba? sa pagpasok mo sa politika dahil sa mga stigma sa LGBTQA plus community? Yes. Aray ko! Diyos ko! I don't understand. Talaga nagdalawang isip ako, oh. Tony. Kasi during the campaign, uh, maraming insulto hmm. sa pagkatao ko dahil LGBT ako. Uh, uh, sinasabi ako daw ay... Uh, manok na kinapon, sinasabi ayaw daw ng Diyos sa akin, and they would campaign, no? Using uh, these insults. So, I really had a moment of weakness, and I would... But what kept me going was that, alam ko, kung si isang Geraldine Roman, eh, na kakasuffer ng discrimination, what more yung mga hindi? So, I, I told myself, kakayanin ko to. And, uh, kasi talagang feeling ko noon, babae ako, trapped ba, in a man's pa lang. body. Alam po, babae. Kaya ka nagka-awareness ilang taong ka na parang I'm different. Uh, siguro, of course, yung terminology, pumasok na yan nung college ako. But the discomfort was always there ever since. Uh, elementary, high school, tapos college. But in college, luckily, I went to UP. Medyo liberal ang atmosphere. Bottoms up! Ay, grabe. Okay, so, your turn. Okay, my gosh, ito na. Inakala mo ba, kahit nung araw, that one day, I would come out as a transgender woman? No. You never thought? I'll tell you why. Oh, wala. Oo nga, oo nga. Hindi, oh kaya no. Kasi alam ko, kakaiba ka noon. Pero hindi hindi ko pa alam yung distinction between transgender, transgender and, at gay. Saka and gay. Uh, sa buong akala ko na parang hindi gay ka, oh, di ba? Oh, oh, In oh. fact, di ba nang nag-come out ka, you, yeah. you initially came out as gay. Oo, oh, iba po yun. Oo, oh, oh, iba yun. Sa sexual orientation and gender identity and expression, merong gay, lesbian, bisexual, that's sexual orientation. That's gender identity, you have cisgender and transgender. So, so, hindi mo talaga nahalata. Alam mo, pero alam mong different ako. Alam kong different. Saan mo nahalata, Aver? Ano ko? Diyos ko. Um, where do I start? Nagsimula yun yung, yung sa color choices. Oh. Oh, di ba? Ma- medyo yung mga... Pink. Pink, exactly. Yung choice of toys. Ako, G.I. Joe, ikaw, Ken. Dahil... Barbie. Have you ever felt the need to compete with us? With me? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> no, I... but, the, but, the, but the truth is yes right. yes kasi nung ano mo yung kapatid ko si tulad din binanggit niya dahil nga ano siya eh kalabasan ng bata ang tataas ng grades niya ako naman palalaro 
na insecure ako sa mga kapatid ko. Ang competition yeah, yun. Yeah. But it's a good type of competition. Yes. Ang nangyari nun, nagsariling sikap ako. That's I, right. I, 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 nagbababasa ako ng dyaryo. I Natan remember. Dyaryo. Remember that? Yung yeah, aking... I, no, no. I remember you oh. memorized two volumes of the Oxford Dictionary. Oh, yun. Hindi, one volume yeah, lang okay. naman. One volume. <laughs> but, he turned out, it turned out well because you became editor-in-chief, right? Editor-in-chief, yes. Of and your school organ. School, okay. uh, school newspaper, college, and all of that. What is important is you do something You do something that. about it also. Oh. At saka yung realization na kaya mo kung gugustuhin mo. Yun ang mahalaga. Oh, Economal my turn. Economal question. Okay, serinom ka. <laughs> <laughs> Akala ko nakalimutan mo na. Oh, no. Okay. Ah, let's see. Ba't marami to? Go. What? Hindi mo kaya ng isang lago. Okay, go. Ang lakas. Okay. Was it hard for you to find someone who truly accept you for who you are? No. Mm. Wala. Yeah. Nakuryente ako. I don't know why. Actually, when I was 22 years old, I went to Spain. In Spain, I had a lot of suitors. Mm. And nakakatuwa sa Spain, um, they're very open-minded. Eh. Uh, of course, before my sex reassignment surgery, I had the two boyfriends who accepted me as a woman. And then finally, they knew. They knew. They knew. And they loved me for who I was. And then finally, si Alberto, mm. who is my lifetime partner. Pinagsisisihan mo ba na iniwan mo ang pamilya mo sa Amerika para bumalik sa Pilipinas? Pwede ba sometimes? Sometimes. Sige. Sige, sometimes. Hmm. No? Yung pinagdaanan ko nung iniwan ko yung family ko, matindi pa sa telenovela. Lalo na, napakasakit ng para sa isang ama na iwanan yung oh, yung I familia. The pain. Lalo na yung, yung anak ko na si Abigail, 15, bunso, oh, ano, oh, 15 oh. years old. Sabi ko, does she deserve this? I Siyempre, nalulong ko ito lalo nung panahon ng pandemya. Ako, nakakulong ka sa bahay. Di ba? Naiisip mo yung pamilya mo. Kulong din sa bahay. Nalidepress. Pa-zoom-zoom na lang kami. Nakakausap ko siya. Hindi maiwasan. Sometimes I feel guilty kasi Iniisip ko, bahagi pa ba ako ng buhay niya? So your vocation to come back or here in the Philippines is very strong? It's very strong. Oh. Yun nga kasi... So ano yung vocation? Yung sinasabi mo palagi na binanggit sa'yo ng dati nung araw. What is the meaning of your life? What is the meaning of your life? Na hindi, mag, hindi magkakaroon ng kabulah ng buhay mo hanggang tumulong ka sa kapwa. Do you want to have your own family in the future? Yes. Yes. I want. I don't understand. Babato ko na talaga to mga <laughs> Yes, with all okay, my heart, sige. I want to have my own family. Why? Because I've seen how happy your family is and Kuya's family is. And really, the question that I always have in my mind is, what will happen to you, Geraldine, after you finish your public service, your career? Paano ka pagtanda? Uh -huh. So this is really not accurate. <laughs> Can we return this to the... <laughs> Some... <laughs> oh my gosh! Pero hindi naman tama. This is unfair. Uh... I protest. Ganon. Okay. Okay. Magpapabakuna ka ba, ka ba laban sa COVID-19? Yes. Nakuryente ako, pero magpapabakuna ako. Um, of course, kasi kailangan yun eh. Si Mami nga tapos na. Tapos na si Mami, 80 years old si Mami. 81, mag-81 siya. Mag-81 siya. Na, nagpabakuna siya, Sinovac. Sabi nga nila, kung anong available bakuna, yun ang dapat mong unin. Yeah. Um, kasi yun ang proteksyon natin eh. Oh. Yung tinatawag na herd immunity. May I share? May oh. I share? Sure, absolutely. Oh. COVID-19 survivor si Tony. Oh. Hindi pala 
hindi chismis yung COVID-19. Totoo po yan. Eh, yung, yung, yung bakuna, kailangan natin yan para ma-achieve natin yung herd immunity herd na tinatawag. Contribution 70, na lang natin sa ating lipunan. O, 70% ang kinakailangan na magpabakuna magpa, magpa para magkaroon ng herd, herd immunity. Did you feel terrified with the idea of coming out to me? Hmm. No. Press mo. Oh, sorry. Nalimutan ko. Wala. Finally. Finally. Ito nga pala yung question. <laughs> 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 did, you, <laughs> did you feel terrified with the idea of coming out to me? Na, no. Oh, no. Lalabag sa I was comfortable in my family. Kung isa sa mga anak mo na realize na hindi para sa kanya ang assigned gender, would, you, would it be hard for you to accept it kung mag-come out as trans ang isa sa anak mo? Um, initially, yes. Ay, nakuryente ako. Nakuryente, oh. Although, hindi, initially, yes. Kasi, ano pa rin eh, meron pa rin discrimination against... It's not because you don't love your child. Mahir It's because you fear. Kundi dahil natatakot ka. Natatakot ako sa buhay niya. Na magsasuffer niya. Harapin niya, maghihirap siya. Kaya walang ama naman na gusto maghir maghirap yung anak. Of course. Ganun din naman na naramdaman ko kay Daddy Mom. Yun ba yung ulan? Ay, magsha-shot ka! <laughs> ako magsha-shot ako! <laughs> okay, bottoms up. Cheers. Okay. Nahirapan ka ba tanggapin ang pag-transition ko sa pagiging babae? Ayan. No. No talaga. No. Hindi ka na-nervous, naliligawan ako ng mga classmates mo. Ganun. Okay lang yun. <laughs> Oh, wala. Oh, wala, oh, wala talaga. talaga. Ha? Carry, carry. Oh. Sa tingin mo, malayo na ba talaga ang narating ng Pilipinas sa pagtanggap sa LGBTQA plus community? Press. Yes, uh, answer first. No. Malayo na ba narating? I said no, pero nakuryente pa rin ako. Oh, may, may There's defecto. something wrong oh, here. Oh. <laughs> No, kasi ibang acceptance sa tolerance. When you say tolerance, sabihin nun, there's something negative na dead ka lang. Na okay lang, palampasin mo yan. Pero kung may choice ka, ayaw mo na na dun siya. Mm. Ibang acceptance sa tolerance. Mm. Madalas ko narinig dito sa Philippines, tanggap na kaming LGBT kung talagang may acceptance na kung dumating ang araw na pinag-uusapan mo na lang yung achievements ng tao, hindi yung kanyang sexual orientation and gender identity expression. Of course, I realize na issue yung SOGI dahil nga hindi pa tayo nakakarating sa punto na yun. Paano ko sasabihin na tanggap na ang mga LGBT sa Pilipinas? Eh kung sa Kongreso nga, basic rights na lang ang pinaglalaban ko. Equality. Basic rights, the right to work, to study, to receive services from the government, the right to, uh, you know, access commercial and public establishments and use public accommodations. Hindi pa rin matanggap ng mga conservatives na tila ba pinagkakait sa amin yung mga karapatan na ito at sinasabi sa amin, naku, masyado kayong pa-espesyal. Pero basic rights, paano ko naman sasabihin na meron ng pagtanggap sa ating bansa. So there's still... Yung, yung patas na pagtrato yun sa lahat ng tao, uh, bagamat kakaiba, no? You know, equal opportunities. Equal opportunities. Pagkakataon man lamang. Correct. Okay. Uh, here's to a more inclusive, inclusive society in the Philippines. Pangarap ko to, pangarap mo rin to. Kung saan lahat ng tao is welcome, lahat ng Pilipino ay makaka-enjoy ng equal rights, equal opportunities and equal protection sa ilalim ng batas. At mabigyan ang pagkakataon na tumulong sa kapwa at sa lipunan. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Thank you everyone. This is Congresswoman Geraldine Roman, tipsy but alive and willing to fight for equality. Hope you enjoyed watching us play and got to know us better, even better. <laughs> Uh, ito po si Tony Roman III. Uh, nagpapasalamat. Medyo napahaba yung kwentuhan namin ng aking kapatid. 
Ah, uh, sarap din pag nagkakainuman tayo no, sis. This is the first time actually na magkainuman oh, tayo. Kainuman eh. nagkakalabas ng loob. Yung mga bagay na hindi namin na na, na appreciate natin masabi. And I, I appreciate you more. Thank you. For you know, uh, you know, this conversation. Um, sa lahat po ng nanonood, mag-iingat po kayo. Tumataas po ang incidence ng COVID. So stay at home, wear your mask at patuloy na magdasal po tayo sa para sa kaligtasan ng ating bansa. God bless us all. Maraming salamat po. Maraming salamat, Attorney.